lights, camera, lights, 52. It takes two lights, 52. Make your selection now. Well, let's get this thing started. We're going to have ourselves a little here and determine if the dollars was worth it. Game number one. Game number one. Okay, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Well, how about the only game you can't play alone? Well, that's dollars wasted already. Number two. Star. You have to know, oh, this is going to be a vertical 2D shooter, and there's going to be an obstacle. That's one way to get you on your toes. Other than that, it's real easy. As long as you keep firing, none of the enemies come. I guess that makes sense. If I was an intergalactic vacuum cleaner getting shot at, I'd be like, oh, fucking hell, there's a menorah shooting Q-tips. Get out of the way. Not even the first level wants to be involved. Sometimes it doesn't show up at all and you're stuck in a dead end. Ugh, oh, that's another dollars. Next, number three, Q-tips. You're not even allowed to see in this game? Idea, it sure goes dark a lot. Great fucking game. Number four, G-Force. Or just G-Force. It's another 2D shooter. You know what, this would be okay for Super NES. The only two controls are move and shoot. Not to mention, if you want to play a good 2D side-scroller game on the NES, try fucking... And what is this anyway? An inside-out dolphin shooting at roadkill toads? I don't know, I'm just using my imagination. That's all you have when you play this miserable pile of goat shit. Number five, ooze. Oh, wow, a wow. Screen? Really? Wow. Oh my god, it's... Wow. Shut up! Pickle! Wow! Oh! Righty then, okay. Well, this is the first game that uses the A button for jumping! Any gamer who grew up with Super Mario Brothers expects B to jump. You know what's really weird? Whenever you restart the menu, it always starts at ooze. 